McDonald's, a once bright red and yellow restaurant front filled with the promise of fries, burgers and at least half an hour of fun has now grown into a dull, lifeless box, copy and pasted across the world. My name is McFoodie and today on Food Thoughts we're taking a deep dive into why McDonald's changed their branding. If you're watching this, which I hope you are, then you most certainly have nostalgic memories of McDonald's storefronts being plastered in their iconic red and yellow colours. A common theme throughout their launch in the 1950s up until recent years. A colour scheme commonly associated with speed, efficiency and excitement. Allowing the red and yellow branding to go hand in hand with what fast food should offer. In more recent years however, the McDonald's restaurant front we once knew and loved now simply lingers in our imagination. Today, McDonald's takes on a more forgettable look. Dull colours, large glass windows and an overall boxy and boring appearance. More closely related to a corporate office building than a fast food exciting bustling restaurant. While the McDonald's garish red and yellow buildings we once recall are now just a fading memory. With characters such as Ronald McDonald, Grimace and Hamburglar to name a few lost in the newfound branding. While those characters may seem outdated, they provided a sense of brand identity that made it distinctly different from other fast food chains. Oh birdie, don't cry. I'll walk. That's the way it'll be. Make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the Food Thoughts channel and comment down below what food related topics you'd like to see us cover next. The recent rebranding of McDonald's was done to give the restaurant a more modernised look and in turn appealing to a wider audience. And no, I don't just mean a wider waistband. Previously, McDonald's restaurants were decorated in a way to appeal to families with young children. Things that still to this day people crave as old stools can fetch big money, showing just how powerful nostalgic memories can be. Today, however, McDonald's has grown up, doing away with its child-friendly look and instead going for a clean-cut appearance, solid colours and a much more modern interior, appealing now to adults who can enjoy the fast food they grew up on, but in a more welcoming environment. By doing this, perhaps the company has removed its legacy branding and made their restaurants feel much more generic. There's a lot of nostalgia I feel when thinking about visiting an old McDonald's restaurant, through the toys, to the birthday parties. It's hard to imagine a kid today getting that same feeling I once had. What was your favourite memory from visiting a McDonald's restaurant as a child? Looking across the fast food sector, it would seem that the majority of restaurant fronts are taking the same boxy building look. McDonald's, known for its sloped rooftop, Pizza Hut with its red topped roof, and Taco Bell with its bright and colourful logo, all have modernised their look in recent years, seemingly appearing as carbon copies of one another, while the only differing thing is the food they serve. The danger of this is that the buildings or brands simply don't look as interesting as they once were, or reflect the same concept that they once did. In a 2016 statement, McDonald's said, The new look is simple, fresh, and consistent with the company's vision to be a modern and progressive burger company. Introducing greens and a more natural colour palette could signal its commitment to offering fresh and sustainably sourced fast food ingredients, as earthy colours often signify freshness and health. Adding new colours to their branding gave McDonald's a new visual identity, as they strive to disassociate themselves from being an unhealthy fast food chain. McDonald's chief executive Don Thompson has indicated that the company's strategy is to evolve into a more trusted and respected brand and to create an overall restaurant experience that customers can feel good about. Again, reinforcing that McDonald's wants to distance themselves from being perceived as an unhealthy burger joint. Their 2016 packaging rebranding only confirms this further, removing pictures of the food from their boxes, cups and bags and instead replacing them with bold text. As part of this 2016 rebrand, McDonald's partnered with students from Miami International University of Art and Design to create clothing from McDonald's packaging to be used at Miami Swim Week, possibly done in an attempt to glorify fast food through prestigious fashion events. The recent modernised rebranding for companies comes from a business perspective. For a product to appeal to the most amount of people as possible, something can't be targeted so specifically. Take a pink iPhone for example versus a grey iPhone, which colour holds the biggest audience? In McDonald's case, older restaurants were targeted to families looking for a quick meal, while modern McDonald's restaurants take on a more this is for everyone approach. It would also be in McDonald's best interest to distance themselves from marketing towards kids. Fast food companies no longer want to be associated with the growing child obesity issue. This new modernised look for companies can be seen throughout the entire world. Take a look at logos, buildings, clothes and cars today compared to just a few decades ago. The colourful world of the 70s, 80s and 90s has been sucked away with the 21st century modernisation. 
This could potentially have a damaging effect on mental well-being, as this study suggests. People with depression often choose the colour grey amongst other dull colours, as the colour represents the way they felt most accurately. A colour which has become most popular amongst branding, design and style choice in recent times. Whilst colour expert, as if such a thing even exists, Kate Smith would argue otherwise. There's a feeling of stability and balance to grey, because it doesn't take sides, it's both black and white. Hmm. Following on from this, it is interesting to compare the current boxy fast food restaurants to the overall architecture of the modern world. Take a look at sports stadiums built in the 21st century, looking at the new Tottenham Stadium, the proposed Everton Stadium, the plans to demolish the San Siro to modernise the look, the Qatar World Cup stadiums in comparison to older grounds, Stamford Bridge, Old Trafford. The new modernised look destroys what once gave something character and individuality. What do you prefer? The old colourful branding and architecture, or the modern standardised look? For me, the sloping rooftops, bright red and yellow storefronts, playful furnished restaurants will always be a favoured choice versus today's tired looking golden arches. What about you? Are you team old or new McDonald's? Drop a comment below on what you like or dislike about the old and new style of fast food dining.